Education is under attack like it has never been before. You will hear me talk about the teacher shortage later on. Uh, but it is a real crisis and a growing crisis. Today, school superintendent Marty Polio addressing JCPS's biggest problems at the State of the District address. It is our top story for you right here at 6. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. Polio says JCPS is about 300 teachers short in a profession increasingly polarized politically on a state level. But still, he says they are making progress. WHAS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez is here. He covered the uh, State of the District speech today with the big takeaways. And Isaiah, he, he said a lot, several lines there, crisis, 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 but still managing to find some momentum for JCPS. Absolutely, Doug. And he actually gave an update to that future or JCPS's future state plan. It was first introduced three years ago with the following goals, build new facilities, bringing school choice to West Louisville, getting more resources to the highest need schools, workforce development, improving technology available to students and teachers, establishing a district wide core curriculum and expanding on summer learning programs. Now Polio says they've made big strides in some of these areas. Others still need a lot more work. We have planted the trees. Now it is time to water those roots and make sure we get the fruit of our labor. Dr. Marty Polio touted his new school choice program going into effect this coming fall, where students in West Louisville can opt to go to schools in their neighborhoods closer to home. Polio says the majority of elementary and middle school families chose to go this route. He also doubled down on the importance of his new school start times proposal to expand two school start times to eight, in turn getting 730 bus routes down to 600, given the driver shortage. Polio believes this will be a major fix to what he estimates as one third of the student body who are chronically absent. We are putting our teachers and schools in an impossible task. We have to make sure our kids in school are becoming engaged in school and not engaged in other things. This is a public safety issue. He also announced his intention to open three new schools by 2026 and 26 new schools by 2036, the majority in new buildings. And as far as the teacher shortage, Polio advocated for additional raises, specifically action in Frankfurt, to help both hire and retain. Meanwhile, toward the end of his 55-minute speech, he quickly touched on school safety. When you have increased crime in the community, you're going to have increased issues in school and vice versa. Polio talked about safety administrators they've added to every middle and high school. He also tells us he's working with Mayor Craig Greenberg on solving root problems. What have you guys talked about specifically? Well, we've talked right now about our partnership and how we're going to work together. But for me, it's, it's pretty simply this. As long as we have the number of handguns and illegal handguns on our streets, that are accessible to young people, we're going to continue to have this problem. And regarding Polio's metal detector proposal the school board expects in late April, he says it's probable JCPS will be investing $5 million more toward this effort. And regarding the metal uh, detectors, Polio telling me today that his team is, quote, working on it. Now, Polio also noted the $20 million donation from well-known philanthropist Mackenzie Scott. He says it will go largely to extracurricular areas like athletic events, improving playgrounds, and increasing PTA membership at schools. Doug. Isaiah, thank you. 